Masks allow you to have a custom output for your projector or screen. Now this comes in very handy if you're doing any sort of environmental projection. As you can see here from this image, this is what it looks like when projectors are projecting up on the wall. And then when you add the masks in, this is what it looks like now. So it cuts out all of the different architectural features and even can cut out different screens where you have an actual second projector projecting one screen and then an environmental projector doing the rest of the room. So as you can see, masks can be very, very helpful. So let's see how these work. So I'm going to go to view mask and in here you'll see all the masks that we have available. Now we can actually set a transition time for this, but all we need to do is we need to go to edit and we're going to edit our mask. Now to create a mask, what we need to do is grab a solid here and you can actually do this with any shape or image, but anything that is pure black is what's going to be uh, totally transparent on your screen or you won't be able to see that part of the projection. So we're going to go and change our fill color from white to black and we're going to make a small square that is for where our normal screen is that we're so this is for our environmental uh, projection screen and then this is where our regular screen would be like you saw in that other image. So now that we have this in place, we're gonna close this out. We'll go to view and pull up mask again and we're gonna show that mask. Now you haven't seen anything here, but what you will see is now I can throw a background up and now you can see that this area is cut out that we could actually put our own text up there on another projector. And as you can see, we can put up any background we want, or we could go to like an announcement loop and it's gonna be cut out of all of those different images.